what's going on YouTube back in with another video now you guys know I'm a fan of retro gaming and the Amiga computer so today we're going to take a look at a brand new shoot em up or shmup for the Amiga called reshoot according to the box this is a bullet hell style shooter for all AGA Amigas no RAM expansion or accelerator is required it's coded in 100% assembly language and features a fast 50 or 60 FPS smooth scrolling amazing graphics and an accelerated chip tune that adjusts itself with the gameplay. Coded by Richard Lowenstein, this game has been in the making for a few years now and I picked up my copy last week. The box is a standard DVD case with nice cover artwork and on the back some information about the game itself and its many features. Inside the case is the game disc and a special edition Amiga Joker magazine that contains information and instructions about reshoot itself. I believe this only comes with a special edition disc which I have purchased. The game itself is quite small and will fit on a floppy disc. I would have liked to have seen a floppy disc been provided with the game itself as I don't have a CD drive for the Amiga 1200. So in the end I just copied the contents of the disc to a Windows machine and moved that over to a FAT32 formatted compact flash card and onto the Amiga itself. There is no installer so just launch the icon and you are away. Now onto the game itself, I've captured this directly using my Amiga 1200 using composite video. Now the object of the game is to survive as long as possible and get a high score with one life. It sounds simple, so let's try it out. The game needs a joystick to play, so plug one into port 2. The stick or D-pad controls the ship and the fire button shoots. There is no secondary fire. Alright guys, so what's my final verdict on reshoot? Well, let me tell you about the good stuff and the bad stuff. First, the good stuff. First of all, this is an Amiga game. So being a Amiga fan, I'm very happy to see new software being released for the Amiga, especially in 2016. I'm a big fan of the abstract pixel artwork. Now on the EAB forums, there's been a lot of criticism about the graphics and people aren't too happy with the way it's been designed, but I think the artwork is exceptional and I'm very, very much a fan of the way that it looks. And of course, the 50 or 60 frames per second smooth scrolling is awesome. There are a lot of Amiga games out there that are just ruined by the fact that they can't scroll at that type of frame rate. So the game itself feels and plays exceptionally well. The main sprite, as you control it with the joystick, doesn't feel floaty at all. It responds very well to the joystick. And that's something that I'm very, very happy to see uh, as I play through the game. And now for the bad stuff. And there's a list of these things here and I'm going to go through them and I hope I don't put anyone off on this review or video because there is something good about this game here. But quite honestly, I will say that to me, this game feels quite unfinished. And let me explain further. The first criticism I have of the game is the actual collision detection. Now, there are so many instances where I felt like my bullet had, or I felt like the bullets had passed 
my ship and then I ended up dying and this happened on multiple occasions and I just felt like the collision detection itself needs to be improved. The second issue I had was bugs. Now bugs are something that are quite frequent in this game. Now there are so many times where I was just hanging back with my ship wailing on a big uh, one of those big circular spinning enemies and all of a sudden I just died out of for no reason at all and uh, there's some video footage here of me actually dying here and I could never figure out why this actually would happen now of course every game has bugs so I'm not too unhappy about that but where it gets a little more frustrating is the fact that you only have one life in this game and when you have one life and you die you start over from the start and that really decreases the fun factor of this game significantly. When I first started playing the game I was reeling into it and enjoying it but after I died I found out that I had to start from the start again and I realized that this is a one life game in order to beat your previous high score and that's the only well that seems to be the only uh, motivation to actually proceed in this game and in my opinion that's something that isn't very good and for the next thing I wanted to talk about that I didn't like was the music the music itself really started to get on my nerves after a while and unfortunately it just got really repetitive and I had to turn it down and I wish there was some more time put into the music itself and again I'm not really sure how much memory was left over in the game for the actual tune itself but I, do I really do feel like this game could have benefited from a classic Amiga soundtrack that we all know and love especially some of those classic games so having said all that how do I feel about this game and what would I rate it? Well, at this point, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. Now, I know some of you guys out there may be a little unhappy about that, but quite honestly, for me, I feel like that this game is unfinished. Now, I feel like if the author went away and worked on some of the things I talked about, in other words, give it a 3 live system, give it some power-ups if possible, now, in this particular instance, I do feel like this game is unfinished and I would like to see an update come out that addresses some of the things I've talked about. Now, of course, this is 2016 and all new Amiga software is very much welcome. So I don't want to be too critical of it, but I will say this. If you are thinking about purchasing this game, I believe it costs about 30 euros to get and ship to the United States. Uh, at least that's my experience. That's what I paid for it. I would say hold off for the moment. I don't believe it's actually worth that much money unless you are, want to support the Amiga and I can certainly understand that you know I'm a big fan of the Amiga as you guys know and I'm happy to support it and I will continue to buy software for it but if you're looking for a classic bullet hell shoot 'em up game uh, unfortunately this isn't it uh, well, that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye for now